afternoon. This is Christine Marie Valenti of Conversion Perspectives by Valenti & Associates. And this will be my first DIY video. This has to do with, um, it's a color and joint compound. So it's a texturing process. It's a faux finish. It's all in one. Uh, this would be for the homeowners, for the contractor, or um, even for someone who is flipping homes. Um, <clears throat> this is be when you're coming into areas that have really bad texture and you need to um, fix that or you want to create an accent wall when you want to flip a home or to sell a home. So here is some photos. I've been doing this um, particular finish. This was one of my first finishes I ever did. I've been doing it since about 19, oh, 89, 90, right in there. So here would be some finishes where we'll take from the flooring and we'll take a tone on tone and do a lighter phase of it so you can kind of see a little bit of the modeling color and they went, <coughs> excuse me, my throat here, a little stronger. So where the texture still comes through, they wanted an antique copper. So I was a licensed contractor, C33, bonded. I did faux finishing for a living from 1999 as a company until um, the economic decline of 2008 and I continued with some jobs until 2011. Uh, so I did it as a living and I had uh, a crew of three so total together four of us. So here is again the texture look and it was done more exaggerated here, um, a little more extreme because that's what the clients wanted. And we'll flip through, I have a few places tagged. This one is that the fireplace, again, color and joint compound. The fireplace is existing, above is not. I used auto detail tape, which is this quarter inch tape, and mapped out a design with a level and a pencil, and then created the illusion. This is back in 1999-2000. Actually, that's actually 2002. Here we go, this is again, this is an existing arch, nothing different than the wall space. What we did was go in and map it out with the auto detail tape and skim two coats of the color and joint compound and then do veining a top. So that's all of these. Here's a larger blow up of that picture here. Again, more of the same. This is exaggerated. This is a Mediterranean look in a bathroom, which we went ahead. I cut out the mural so you could only just focus on what we're talking about. Color and compound, and again, mapping out a design and doing that. This will be the last photo I'll show you here. This is a, a piece of an existing board that I presented to a client. Um, they have the other end of it, and what this is, is I always present a board, and this is two colors skimmed across, the first color being this kind of a darker cream, and then it was uh, almost a aubergine um, color. Um, my recipes go left to right, and I faux finished the top, and I did splatter against the wall um, to get this illusion. This is in a powder room in Serrano, California. And so what I'm going to do, we're going to take you to a space that I just finished, and this will give you an idea uh, with all of the funky textures going on in this place. Um, I show some of the worst walls here. And so you can still see some of the color coming through. Um, it's to go with the tile, so it's longevity to match into the tile, taking those tones coming to the wall. So when you're doing an uh, entertaining space, you're always going to wrap the, call, the archways so that this is part of the archway and it sets up and frames the space that you're going to. This is a space I just finished last week. And again, um, some of the texture issues that were going on here. So I just got through um, completing it. This is a little more amber tone. Um, when this happens to you, I picked up a bear thing I wasn't used to using and uh, it was an oil modified bear thing, not the brand I'm used to using. So it gave it an amber tone. So what I did in this space since that happened is I came back with a wash on top uh, what that means is a faux finishing glaze, one part paint, one part bare thing, and two parts of glaze. And then I overwashed it to bring it down to take some of the amber tone out. We're going to go talk about the recipe now, which is over here in my work zone. 
My son is videotaping this for me, so hang on. <clears throat> Using drink compound and making the recipe um, is a bucket per color. There's two colors on those walls. The bucket is approximately one third of the way filled with drink compound, and to that is five cups of color. And then it's mixed in, so five to seven. You don't want it so runny that you can't work with it. On the arches and places that are difficult to get around, I use the plastic knives and because it's easier and it, um, it has a little more bend in it. I use my plastic knife to load out of the bucket into the pan and go to the wall. And um, so in here, so I always do when my setup, I always do from my starting phase to my finish phase. And again, the, the glaze is one part paint, one part bare thing, two parts of glaze. And that's the overglaze if you run into an issue where it's a little darker than you anticipate and you need to lighten it up. Always, always, when you're doing a texture as a faux, you're going to seal it with two to three coats of varathane. That's why the varathane is in that overglaze as well. You're continuing to seal the process. When you're applying this onto the wall, because the texture issues were so bad in some areas, you're, what you're doing is skimming the wall to create a flat finish, like a plaster finish. A drywaller can do this for you, and you can save the step of paying drywall and a faux finisher if you don't know how to do any of this, by just giving this recipe to the drywaller and having him go at the wall and telling you want a flat finish, no texture. So he'll be skimming over that, and all the bumps that are underneath will come through as showing little uh, pieces of Mediterranean texture if that's what you would like. Otherwise you would do another coat or two to really complete a flat wall and it gives a limestone feel when it's finished because you still see the colors underneath. So um, that is my first DIY recipe for you and again homeowners that are getting ready to do um, a sale in a house strategically you want to stage the property so you minimize get everything packed up and moved out except for a few key pieces of furniture artwork and then having a few main walls done just to showcase the, pla the place. White, I'm, I'm one that believes that color is life. White to me is kind of, even though it's clean, it's sickly, it's stark, it's, it's rigid, it's, it doesn't evoke um, a home feeling to me. And that's what the case with a lot of people. So when you're getting ready to stage a property, to flip a property, or even for the homeowner, you want to create an inviting atmosphere, something that says home um, and warms them and welcomes them in. So there you go. Thank you so much and have a great day.